Right, let's now look at the equation of uh, a normal to a function that has got some more awkward uh, powers in it. So it's no longer the uh, positive powers of x. And first of all, then, I need to take my equation and write it in a way that I can use the formula for differentiation. So I can write this as 2x to the minus 1 plus 3x to the minus 2. Now this time, I want the equation of the normal to this graph. I still need to differentiate. So let's differentiate dy dx. Bring down the power. Minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. Take away 1 from negative 1 gives you negative 2. Negative 2, bring down this. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. I think this time, let's go straight for writing negative 6 there instead of plus negative 6, because that saves a, saves a line of working. Take 1 away from negative 2 is negative 3. Again, as with the tangents uh, example, we don't need to do anything with that. You can leave it like that. The point I'm working at is the point 1, 5. So let's call it m because now I'm finding the gradient at that point. Okay. x is 1. Now, be careful here because it's x that's 1 and so that's really negative 2 times 1 to the power negative 2. Take away 6 times 1 to the power negative 3. And of course, um, 1 to any power is still 1, so that's nice and easy, isn't it? So this is literally negative 2, take away 6, which is negative 8. So that's the gradient of the tangent. Now I want the gradient of the normal. So I need my old friend m1, m2 equals negative 1. So m dash, remember I'm going to use m dash for normal as opposed to m for tangent. Now just be careful here. Because this is an integer, I need the reciprocal of that integer, which is 1 over 8 and I have to change the sign. So remember, you invert the fraction. Now, this isn't really a fraction unless I remember that, of course, I can write it as negative 8 over 1. So if I invert that, it becomes 1 over 8. If I change the sign, it becomes plus 1 over 8. I can now use the y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Do this in different colour just to highlight the answer this time. So it's y take away 5 equals 1 over 8 x take away 1. We don't like the fraction there, so let's multiply this side by 8. So I get 8y take 40 equals, now there's a 1 still here. This doesn't become zero or anything like that, so it's really one times that bracket, which is x minus one. Put the negative 40, we'll subtract, so we get plus 40 on the other side, and that will give us plus 40, take away this one, is plus 39. So there we have the equation of the normal to this graph. Lots of places that you can go wrong here. Be very careful at each stage. Make sure that when you take away from a negative number, it gets more negative. Make sure when you substitute a value into a negative power that you put the bracket round that number. And be careful when the gradient is an integer and you want the perpendicular gradient to that as well. So several pro problems here 
that are they're quite difficult within this one question. Okay, so go away and try uh, some of these and, and I'm sure you'll do well with those. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.